All right, time to talk about charging. You know, we used to charge the Tesla with this uh, mobile charger, the 32 amps, and that was good enough. Like, even if you charge it really late at night and you needed most of the battery next day, it would be, it would be there. It would be like fully charged because it would did it in like enough hours. The, the night had enough hours to charge. But with this guy, yeah, the Rivian R1T has a battery that's almost twice its size. Actually, it is twice the size of that one. Then 32 amps, it's just not gonna cut it, right? There was too many days that are going to be where you charge it, you're too depleted. And by the time you get up in the morning, you just don't have enough range to do the things that you wanna do, right? So for that reason, I decided to upgrade the charging thing, uh, the EVSC, right? That's uh, the little charging cord thing and the, basically the, the glorified plug, the smart plug. Uh, uh, extension cord, right? It's called an EVSC. And here's the best one to, to get, obviously, is the Rivian one. The Rivian one works with your same app, Rivian app, so you, you don't have to add an extra app to your phone, and the integration is just better. But I made the, the mistake of not ordering it with my truck. And so now that I took delivery, if you go to Rivian.com, you realize that you can't get it. It's just they're not shipping them to without without a truck right and so i can't get it anymore i have to wait until it becomes available so i'm like well that's too long so the next best thing to get probably would be the the tesla uh charging station right but that one is you will need a, another app you have to use the rivian app to use it and you will need an extra little adapter to charge on this one because it comes with the tesla uh, cord, right? So, and it's also about a thousand dollars, I think, or something like five, six hundred bucks or something. And I've seen it up to a thousand dollars because I think it's usually uh, out of stock many other times. So that's why the prices go. So the best solution that I found, I asked actually on one of the Rivian uh, groups on Facebook, and they suggested someone suggested this one right here. It's called the Emporia. Emporia. Uh, and this one, the reason why is the best is because it does 48 amps. That's the thing. This truck right here has an 11.5 kilowatt hour uh, or kilowatt onboard charger, which is big. It is akin to the early Tesla Model S's that had, uh, you know, 11 kilowatts. Some of them had even up to 15 or whatever. They have two chargers on board and stuff, but they no longer do that. So I think this is one of the biggest chargers right now on a production vehicle uh, in 2022. So this, this Emporia uh, EVSC supports uh, 48 amp charging. And so then that way you can take advantage of the full charging speed of the truck right and the other cool thing about this is that is uh it's affordable it was 399 i think and so it, you know it's cheaper than the tesla one it's cheaper than all the other ones and and it has a nice app that you can download and it keeps track of all the stuff in that same app you can use it with other sort of products that to manage your and keep track of your home energy usage throughout your your home like oh you can put this in a in, a, in your central uh, electrical panel and it'll keep track of all the circuits and i bought this a long time ago i just haven't had a time to install it i have it sitting in my office and now that i got this now i downloaded the app and now i'll be able to use that uh to manage my entire or to at least to track my entire usage uh here at home so the installation is it's easy the only thing is that if you want to use the 48 volt uh level of this because you can also downgrade it to 40 or 32 or you know even down to 12 to 12 to uh, down to 12 amps um you will have to change you'll have to hardwire it and it comes with this cord right here which is the nema 1450 and i had a nema 1450 connector there and this is what i usually connect the tesla app or the tesla mobile charger right but this connector here can only support um well a maximum of 50 amps right and since you're running gonna run 48 amps on this thing continuous for like the, the duty cycle this is kind of like special it's kind of long um 
this. It just runs for hours and hours and hours. You know, it'll run 10 hours. It'll run 11 hours. Add 48 amps. And so that connector cannot support that because it will get too hot. And so that's the reason why you have to hardwire it. And to hardwire it, well, you have to either get an electrician or if you know, you know how to do some electrical work. Uh, you do have to follow the instructions. You have to get a six gauge American wire gauge to it. And it has to be this, the THHN or T THN. I think it's like a... Uh, it's it's one that supports up to 75 degrees uh, C, right? Because these wires can run hot when you're running 48 volts continuous for hours and hours on end, right? So you have to make sure that you use that wire uh, to connect it. And then you put in a dedicated circuit and they uh, suggest a 60 amp breaker. Right, so that it it run it will run cool and then it won't be tripping all the time, right? So the other thing is that if you're doing this work yourself, man, it's hard work. Like this wire right here, this six gauge wire, it's really stiff and really hard to manage and bend and you know, put it in boxes and do the whole thing. So yeah, be ready to struggle and you know, if you've done electrical work before, then I guess you'll be fine, you know what you're getting into. But if not, just hire an electrician to run a little run i had to run this little box here and then just do that sub panel over there because i didn't want to put the, the station way over there because uh we as you can see this we don't use this garage for cars and so I, that's why i needed to put it over here and then and then the other cool thing is that this comes with this nice well brand new um it's kind of it's thick uh cord but it's much better than the other one that I used to have. And the connector is this new version, which is a little bit shorter. Uh, and this is actually rated for 40, 50 amps, right? So, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that way this will charge really quick. Now it comes with a little holder, but the thing that I don't like about that holder is that it just hangs there and then these are exposed. That's why you have this little cap here. And so I didn't install it. I just had this one here from the previous installation. And I like this one better because that one, you just click it on there. And uh, well, the, 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 the contacts are covered. So then even if it rains or the dirt doesn't go on there, it'll be fine. And then the other thing that I like is that it's got a 20 foot, uh, it's 20 foot cord. So that way we don't have to flip the Rivian the other way around. So you have a little bit of choices of what, uh, uh, how to charge right and uh I, we will be able to charge our tesla with that same um station just by using the you know the included adapter this one comes with every tesla i think well it used to i don't know if it will keep coming uh with uh, the new teslas right because they're they don't even they're not even going to ship with the onboard uh so anyways this is the best third party uh charger if you like did like me forgot to order one with your vehicle and you got delivery of your vehicle uh if you want to charge the fastest take advantage of the fastest 11 kilowatt then this is the best way to go about it yeah that is pretty loud it's cooling the cabin really fast so that we can get in there because it was 120 degrees inside what air coming out but look it's down to 106 well it's, it's cooling it somehow never. somehow it's cooling it 